Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today we're at Brodara, just on the outskirts. There's Brodara down there. The dancing waters are just beyond those luxury villas. And we've got these building sites around here. There's one just beyond the villas that I said. There's one back there, you can see the JCB. And then we've got the Blue Pearl here. It's, it's on its own. There's a field either side, and then there's another building site just beyond the field, just here, you see. So the Blue Pearl Residence, another modern estate. Look at this. Let's go and have a look around, shall we see what it's like. So we've got uh, square boxes, and then we've got this beautiful sort of shuttering. Looks nice, doesn't it? Sort of going over what is it made of what is this stuff oh, it's like aluminium aluminium sort of going across there's no one here so we're going to have a look around the back shall we oh lovely little gardens very mature we've got conifers and this amazing pool steps going in the pool oh let's have a look inside what's this that's the kitchen Everything's white in there and then these doors open right up so you've got the inside outside Massive windows everywhere these massive blinds So you can open all this up look at that and that amazing oh a spiral staircase going up to the Veranda she'll go up there and have a look There we are why not? spiral staircase as well let's go and see what's going on shall we oh look at this here we are up on this veranda and we've got a clear view of what's going on around the area there's a another building site there with more luxury houses similar to this there's your garden the garden area and there's the fields these are the fields that have not been sold off for development yet. I suspect there'll be houses here soon or whenever, maybe 10 years, who knows. But uh, definitely these are building plots in the future. So you can see next door's garden and that's next door's veranda area and next door's garden here and car park area and there's an, another spiral staircase leading up to the roof terrace let's go up shall we why not why not indeed oh wow look at it up here looks like work in progress this particular one Looks like they're going to cover this pergola and we can really see what's going on here actually we've got sea views haven't we ah can you see what it's going to be like can you see that one that's enclosed maybe they're going to do that for all of them or maybe they wanted it like that you see an enclosed area let's have a look around here there's the field I'm talking about, more luxury houses there. There's another building site further down. There's the sea. Let's come around here, have a look. We have got plugs up here. There we are, look. Brought that out down there. Can you see the dancing water show now? That's the black scaffolding. Right, so we're not too far from the restaurants and the nightlife just up the road there McDonald's and what have you look out for the videos and of course once this building work finishes it should be nice and quiet around here and then you can walk down this road turn left and you come to the beach 
Right, so we'll go down, see what else is going on. Right, we're down. We'll go back where we came from. Oh, there's a little park as well, communal park. We've got swings. Looks like we've got a seesaw. I think we've got a communal area on the back of these houses on the right. Yeah, we've got some gardens here. I'm not sure if they're communal actually, guys, unless it's an extension. But it looks like the boundaries here for this particular villa. And then we've got these gardens. There's no pathway through. So I think it's just an extension of their garden. You see, probably an unofficial extension. Perhaps this is communal area and they've extended the gardens because as we go on to this particular one here, we can see that they've not fenced it off, but they've put some gravel and they've uh, put some plants there to block it off can you see we've got sort of white gravel here with a kind of boundary line and they've put some plants and some bushes up so I think it's a communal area that they've extended but this piece here is definitely the communal park with convenient located benches. So that was number one. Looks like a few people are here. Maybe they're on holiday or they live here permanently. That one looks like he's living here permanently. There's number two. We'll have a look at round number two. And then we've got the field at the back. There's number two. Oh, no, it's shut off. So we won't go around that one. We'll go down to the end. Have a look down, see what's going on down there. Might be a pathway or something. beautiful road going down the center and these pavements now you find this quite a lot in America where they've the pavements or the paths are made of concrete you see and that makes sense to me you won't get any weeds coming through I don't see why the council insists on putting these blocks everywhere You know, the paving slabs. The weeds come through, they break, they crack. They're a nuisance. Where here, it's a piece of concrete laid. Nothing can come through. Maybe if it cracks a little bit. You can see a couple cracks here and there. Need repair. Weeds might come through that but it's a lot better than paving slabs right here we are at the end another field no there isn't a pathway I thought there might be a pathway to get to the beach a secret path oh there's a road down there guys oh that's the Floresa Gardens Hotel look out for the video we have been there and there's the road to it so if you go down this road here turn left it's not too far from the beach beach is just down there probably 15 minute stroll so there you are I 
I, I like the uh, front doors, massive glass front doors. Now, I'm not going to say anything for a little while and then we can hear the building work. So there we go Paul, yet another luxury development. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below.